Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'll be showing you how I made these really useful push blocks for my new planar thicknesser. I recently bought a new planar thicknesser machine so I thought it would be a good idea to draw up a design for some new push blocks. So if you'd like to copy this project you can pause the video now. And here is the handle design which has a taper and that's to distribute the weight to the outside points of the blocks. For this project I'll be using some old pine from some old doors that I found thrown out. I started off by using the jigsaw to make these pieces more manageable and then I could use the table saw to rip down this long thin piece to make two blocks which will form the two bases of the push blocks. I'm using chunky wood here, it's about 3.5 centimeters thick for two reasons. It should give me a nice chunky handle for good grip and the base should be nice and thick to keep my hand away from the blade. I could then use a speed square to help me to mark up the, uh, the blocks that I want to cut out on the motor saw. Now moving on to the handles, I'm going to be using this part of the door and I've marked up where I need to cut the shape on the motor saw. Now I could add the taper, it's one centimetre at the top going downwards, hopefully this should help to spread the pressure to the outward parts of the blocks making them more stable. I could then find this angle on the motor saw and make the cuts. Now to draw out the shape I used some cans to help with the round parts and then a ruler to finish up the shape. To cut out these shapes, again I use the jigsaw. And now I had the four main pieces. Here I'm using a combination square to get it nice and central, the handle to the block. And then I can mark that area up. And then find a rough center point with a ruler ready to drill some pilot holes.
I used an awl to make the marks. And then got these holes drilled on the drill press. The underneath of the block I then countersunk as I need the screw to sit underneath the surface. Now I added a round over to the handles and the tops of the blocks. This should make it more comfortable in the hand. The next day I started off by cleaning all the frost off of my workbench and then using the disc sander I could clean up these handles and get them nice and smooth. To make sure that the handles were flat to give me a good contact with the bottoms of the blocks I used a piece of 80 grit sandpaper on a flat surface and then I could check that with a square. I used a file just to neaten up the inside of the handles and then I used some sandpaper around the handle of a brush. Then I could give everything a quick sanding over at 120 grit and then a final hand sanding. I then added some glue to the handles and again using the combination square to help to get everything nice and central I could then add some squeeze clamps until the glue dried. So once the glue had dried, I could start to add the screws. So I've got it in the uh, in the vise now, that push block, and I can drill down some pilot holes through into the handle, and then drive in these nice thick, chunky wood screws. I wanted to add a heel to one of the blocks. So I've got an offcut of wood here. It's about one centimeter by 1.5 centimeters or so. And I could drill some pilot holes and countersink the tops. This heel will help to grab the wood when I push it through the planer. So to get this added on, I'm not gonna use any glue in case I wanna replace it in future and then I can add two small drywall screws and they'll sit below the surface, nice and flush. I could then just give these a quick sanding to make them nice and smooth to prevent chips. So now to line the bottoms of the push blocks, I've got this 80 grit sandpaper and I used wood glue to stick it to the bottoms. I got the glue spread out evenly.
and then I could add them to the sandpaper and apply some weight and wait for the glue to dry. Once the glue was dry, I could use a knife to cut off the excess sandpaper and the glue did a good job at sticking it. For the finish, I applied a coat of boiled linseed oil and this really brought out the grain nicely in this wood. So now all I need to do is give these push blocks a test. Okay, so that is about it for this video then. I'm pretty pleased with how they turned out. They were just made out of an old piece of uh, door that I found thrown out on the side of the road. The handles are nice and grippy and chunky. They seem to work well. And because everything's quite thick and chunky, it helps to keep your hand away from the, uh, the planer blade, which is what they were designed for. And the addition of this heel here works really well with longer pieces just to grab them and to give you the confidence that you've got hold of that piece as you're pushing it through. And surprisingly, the sandpaper works really well. I was a bit apprehensive about using sandpaper, but it has a really good grip. So I'm glad that I used it and it can easily be replaced in the future. It's very cheap to buy. All in all, I am pleased with these push blocks. So if you're thinking of making some for yourself, I hope you found this video useful. Please remember, to uh, like the video and consider subscribing for more DIY related content and as always thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.